Cape Breton Highlands National Park official name, Cape Breton Highlands National Park of Canada French, Parc National du Canada des Hautes Terres du Cap Breton is a Canadian national park located on northern Cape Breton Island in the province of Nova Scotia. One third of the Cabot Trail passes through the park featuring spectacular ocean and mountain views. The park is well known for its steep cliffs and deep river canyons that carve into a forested plateau bordering the Atlantic Ocean. The park was the first national park in the Atlantic provinces of Canada and covers an area of 948 square kilometers, 366 square miles. It is one of 42 in Canada's system of national parks. At the western entrance of the park is the Acadian village of Chetticamp on the Gulf of St. Lawrence and a park information center. On the eastern side of the park are campsites as well as beaches at Inganish on the Atlantic Ocean. In between are mountains, valleys, forests, waterfalls, rocky coastlines and a tundra-like plateau known as the Cape Breton Highlands. Also on the east side of the park located in Inganish at the Celtic Lodge Resort is Highlands Lynx, an 18-hole golf course designed by Stanley Thompson. Golf Magazine ranked it as one of the top 100 courses in the world and the best public course in Canada. George Knudsen suggested leaving your clubs behind and just walking the course. The course has been certified by the Audubon Cooperative Sanctuary Program, a program aimed at conserving wildlife habitat in spaces used for other purposes. The park's forested areas include Acadian forest of mixed deciduous trees and conifers, mainly found at lower elevations. Boreal forest found on the plateau and uplands There are five main salt water ocean beaches in the park and two freshwater lakes. The ocean beaches include Inganish Beach, North Bay Beach, Broad Cove Beach, Black Brook Beach and La Block Beach. The two freshwater beaches include Freshwater Lake and Warren Lake. Freshwater Lake and Inganish Beach are both supervised with a lifeguard during the summer months. There are very strong currents at Black Brook and Inganish Beach which must be considered when bringing small children to these two beaches. Rivers in the park include the Chetticamp River and the North Aspie River. This park was the subject of a short film in 2011's National Parks Project, directed by Keith Behrman and scored by Tony Decker, Old Man Ludek and Daniela Gesundheit. In 2014, Parks Canada started a four-year project with the Unamaki Institute of Natural Resources and other partners to begin to restore boreal forest regions within the park. <laughs> Wildlife. Park wildlife features mammals and raptors including two species of owl, bald eagle, marten, lynx, snowshoe hare, beaver, mink, kestrel, bobcat, three species of hawk, river otter, stoat, red fox, raccoon, moose, black bear, skunk, and coyote. Whales, humpback, fin, mink, say and pilot, white-sided dolphins, seals, harbor, harp, and gray, and northern gannets can often be seen from the park's coastal hiking trails, e.g. the Skyline Trail. The park's forests provide habitat for the uncommon Bicknell's thrush. The Gaspé shrew, the local name for a smallish variety of the long-tailed shrew, Sorex disper, can be found on rocky slopes in the park. The first nest records of boreal owl for Nova Scotia were found in the southwestern corner of this park in 2004. Reptiles that roam in this park include garter snake, red belly snake, ringneck snake, smooth green snake, wood turtle and leatherback sea turtle. North Atlantic right whales, one of the rarest whales, were once considered to be sporadic visitors into St. Lawrence regions until 1994, but after the annual concentrations were discovered off Perse in 1995, gradual increases have been recorded elsewhere since in 1998, and whales suddenly increased in numbers around Cape Breton in 2014 35 to 40 whales were found around Cape Breton to Prince Edward Island in 2015. In late October 2009, country folk singer Taylor Mitchell died as a result of her injuries and blood loss due to coyotes attacking her during her lone hike on the Skyline Trail. This incident became the only recorded fatal coyote assault on an adult as well as a Canadian. <laughs> Geology Most of the park resides within what is called the Gandaria terrain, sometimes referred to in the literature as the Bras d'Or or Aspie terrain. This terrain was originally part of Gondwana, referred to as Peri Gondwanan terrain, and through seafloor spreading separated from Gondwana, and collided with Laurentia during the Salinic orogeny. 
The evidence of this collision, the closing of the Iapetus Ocean and the formation of the Iapetus Suture, is seen in the northwest part of the park where the Gandaria terrain is connected with the Blair River Inlier, itself a remnant of the Laurentia continental margin, referred to as Peri Laurentian terrain. Other terrain collisions followed, including the Avalonia terrain during the Akkadian orogeny, and the Maguma terrain during the Neo Akkadian orogeny. Then, between 340 and 300 Ma, Gondwana collided with Laurentia, forming Pangaea. Rifting started about 200 Ma eventually forming the Atlantic Ocean, along the Cabot Trail between the park headquarters at Inganish Beach and Inganish. A 402 Ma old early Devonian granodiorite is exposed, the Cameron Brook Pluton, while the Celtic Lodge, on Middle Head, sits on a 493 Ma old early Ordovician granite and a 550 Ma old Neoproterozoic diorite. The beach in front of Freshwater Lake is a classic shingle beach, a barrier beach with boulders well-rounded and polished from wave action. Glacial debris is evident along the trail at the north end of the lake. A similar bar cuts across Inganish Harbour, a middle to 375 ma late Devonian granite is seen along the Cabot Trail between Inganish and where it leaves the park near South Harbour, while a 403 ma early Devonian orthonice is exposed at Neils Harbour northward. From Cape North, the Cabot Trail follows the Aspie Fault southwards, where the early Carboniferous Windsor Group and Horton Group outcrops, until it re-enters the park at Big Intervale. These groups of rocks consist of limestone, mudstone, inhydrate, gypsum, halite, siltstone, fluvial sandstone, shale, and conglomerate. The Windsor group is also exposed at Inganish and Inganish Beach. The Cabot Trail then doglegs to the north, crossing the Wilkie Brook Fault Zone, and entering the southernmost extent of the Blair River Inlier. The Inlier is bounded by the Wilkie Brook Fault Zone on the east and the Red River Fault Zone on the southwest near Lone Sheeling. The fault zones are marked by a zone of sheared rocks characterized by myelinite. Between these zones are outcrops of Silurian Fox Back Ridge diorite and granodiorite, as well as the Red River Anorthosite suite of Middle Proterozoic Age. The Cabot Trail then follows the Grande Anse River westwards, with exposed Horton Group until it reaches the coast at Pleasant Bay. This is the location of the 364 Ma Late Devonian granite of the Pleasant Bay Pluton. Moving south along the trail, the 433 Ma Ordovician Silurian Bell Coat Road Orthonice is encountered, followed by another granite, Proterozoic Devonian in age. As the trail loops west to follow the coastline, rocks of the 439 Ma Ordovician Silurian Jumping Brook Metamorphic Suite are exposed. This suite consists of metamorphosed siltstone, whack, conglomerate, arcos, and minor rhyolite. In the midst of this suite may be found the 379 Ma Devonian granite of the Gillanders Mountain Pluton. The trail encounters a 439 Ma Cambrian granite before it exists the park at La Rigucci. <laughs> Gallery <laughs> See also National Parks of Canada List of National Parks of Canada List of Parks in Nova Scotia